Welcome here everyone. The first step to activate eSIM in iPhone 15 Pro is if you have not set up your iPhone yet, head over to the setup mobile service screen and then skip 20 seconds forward into the video. If you can see your home screen and your lock screen as well, then from here, I want you to open up the settings and inside of the settings, verify that Wi-Fi is on and that you've connected to a Wi-Fi network and make sure Bluetooth is on as well. Once you have verified this, I want you to tap on either mobile service or cellular service. And then you will see at the top, set up mobile service or set up cellular service, tap on the option you see. Now, regardless if you set up your iPhone or not, we will be on the exact same screen. The first option says transfer from nearby iPhone. This allows us on some carriers to convert the physical SIM on our old iPhone into eSIM for our new iPhone. Or you can transfer the eSIM from your old iPhone to your new one. Let's first of all try the transfer from nearby iPhone. So we're going to tap on this one and on your old iPhone, you should see the transfer phone number screen. If this screen is not showing up, then on your old iPhone, you will need to open the settings and just make sure Wi-Fi is on and make sure Bluetooth is on. You may need to go into general and then install the latest software as well. Once you have done this, we'll go back and then we'll go back in and the transfer phone number option is now showing up. Let's tap on continue. And from here it's asking for a code. So let's enter in the code we see. And then once the code is entered in, we will see if the SIM card is supported. If you're watching from the United States, all carriers are supported. It will show your phone number, which will be transferred, and then it will transfer the physical SIM or eSIM in your old iPhone, and then place it in your new one. Everything will be ready. If you see here, your SIM is not supported, or you have an eSIM QR code to activate, then let's go out of here. We'll go back into the setup and we're going to use use QR code. If you don't have a QR code or don't know what that is, eSIMs should come by email or in person. They'll give you a card and the card should have this QR code. You will need to scan this QR code and once it scans, the eSIM will be set up. If you don't have a QR code, which looks like this, you will need to contact your carrier and get them to email you a QR code to scan. Once you have the QR code, let's tap on use QR code. Now it says we need to scan. So we're going to place the QR code in the frame of the camera. If the QR code is of a valid eSIM, an eSIM that's active, you will see add your phone number and then there'll be an option to add. As this is a sample eSIM, we can see it's not allowing me to, but in your case, it will allow you to, and then the eSIM will be added. If you don't have multiple devices, you may notice under use QR code, there is an option to use photos. If you save your QR code to the photos app, you can tap open photos and then select the photo of the QR code to add it. Once the eSIM is activated, you have the option to turn on or off cellular data. In mobile data options, you can turn on or off 5G. You have the personal hotspot, which is only available if mobile or cellular data is on. You can see your network name here. And if in the future you want to have a dual eSIM setup, so you have two eSIMs, tap on eSIM 
and then repeat the earlier instructions in the video to add the second eSIM. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.